Good morning ladies and gentlemen, David here and welcome back to another video and of course this one is about Metaphor Reef and Tezio, as it always is at the moment because the game is about to launch. Of course Atlas were nice enough to give us a demo that we streamed on the channel. Shout out to everyone who joined me for my playthrough. We streamed for over two hours. It was really fun, had a blast with it and of course I am really looking forward to not only giving you guys more content on Metaphor because yes I am working on some stuff here but also to play more. Play more. Give me the game, please. By the way, we're still running the giveaway for a code of metaphor on your platform of choice. So if you'd like a chance to win, just make sure you are a subscriber here on the channel and you can comment on this video or a previous video which your platform of choice the winner will be picked at launch. Good luck. Let's get into it. So you've seen the title. I want to make one thing extremely clear before I say anything else. I'm going to talk about PC and I'm going to talk about performance and specs and graphics card and it's a must. I absolutely need to say that I have no knowledge and that I am a freaking clown when it comes to both PC and especially technical stuff, you know? So let me make this clear. But clearly, PC gamers were quick to bring this up to me that metaphor on PC, it doesn't work or it doesn't work in a good way, or there's a lot of issues. What's going on with this demo? Why is it problematic on PC? If it's pretty fine on other platforms, there's no issues on other platforms, or at least no major issues. I've seen some people complain about frame drops and stuff like that, and again, I'm not good when it comes to performance and stuff. I don't even notice these things, but some people did notice them when it comes to consoles, but from my understanding and from what I can see myself, it seems to be minimal stuff on consoles, but on PC, there is some big issues. I've seen some video footage on uh, Twitter and on social medias, people sharing their screen, and it's pretty rough. Steam Deck players, it's very rough <laughs> from my understanding. So I asked you guys on Twitter, shout outs to everyone who took some of their time to explain to me what's going on. So I asked, hey, PC gamers, have you played the Metaphor Refantasio demo? If so, how was your experience? I'm hearing a lot of different things at the moment and I need a better understanding of this whole situation. And right now, I think I have a good understanding. The main thing when it comes to PC is the fact that it's it's not stable. It's unstable. A lot of frame drops are present in metaphor and of course when it comes to PC it depends on your setup, right? Even I know that. If you have a very solid PC, I'm sure the game's gonna be running fine. Like we had some people yesterday joining my stream saying, hey David, I have a PC and for me it, it's pretty fine. And other people messaged me like, hey, I'm super disappointed. It runs like ass on my PC. And I have yet to try it out myself. I kinda want to because I have this laptop here for video editing and streaming and stuff. And it's super powerful for what I do with it. But in terms of games, Generally speaking, when I try to run a game, I can run it with this little PC here. And I went on the, I don't even know if it's still a good site to use or whatever, but I went on uh, canyourunit.com or something like that, and they tell me Metaphor can run on my PC. So I wonder how it would run on PC. I am probably going to check that out and see how it goes, at least the demo here. But people told me that, hey, there's an issue with the game where you have to change certain stuff. So we have Rido the one here saying that, hey, when I booted up Metaphor here on PC, performance was awful at first, but once I swapped the game from using my CPU to my GPU, it ran smooth as butter. Other than that, just a couple of instances of quick lag, but I've had no problem and the game's been fun. Interesting. We have Santiago here saying that, hey, I played first on my Steam Deck and the experience was not good at all. Some heavy frame drops and the, Im the image made me feel dizzy because it was blurry, I assume. I then changed to my desktop PC and the experience was better. So see, we have someone who says it runs fine here on PC. Then we have Brayden here saying, the game runs absolutely horribly on my PC, but it also runs poorly on PS5. Not unplayable, but it's usually far below 60 frames per second there. It's not super smooth on Steam Deck, says Unic90. It drops to the low 20 frames per second. I hope they improve on the performance before the release date. Sack Chief here saying, dude, the anime cutscenes at the beginning were stuttering the first time I booted it up. I had to restart it. How do you explain this? It's, it's really interesting. Sayarma here says, 
averaging 90 frames per second on my RTX 4070, which is not good for a game on this engine. Persona 5, which uses the same engine, has locked frame rates on PC even on low-level hardware. Though in my opinion, this is definitely because it's a demo. I suspect they weren't planning to drop this at first and only decided on later on. Now, I do want to point that out though. I don't think the demo is going to be a different build than what we have here with the main game, especially since you can transfer your progress over to the main game. This demo has been accessible to a lot of people at shows, at Tokyo Game Show, at Gamescom and stuff like that. So people have been playing that demo for a long time and I think this demo is taken from the final build of the game. So I also think that Atlas is aware of these issues, the PC issues and that they're working on it, but I don't think it's because it's a demo that it's struggling like this. I might be wrong, it's just me speculating though. We have Telluria here saying I had crazy stuttering issues, like every second a stutter would happen and it made the game look like a slideshow and it was nearly unplayable. But I was able to fix it by changing the affinity on the CPU cores and now it plays great. My specs are a 4080 and 7800X 3D as well. Which... This is Chinese to me. <laughs> a CPU cores and changing affinity and stuff like that. I don't know what that means, but I went on Steam and looked at comments from players who tried the demo out, and I've heard of a lot of people fixing the performance by changing stuff. Not necessarily options in the, the game, but on their computer, changing how you want the game to be ran, right? Because in the game itself, there's just not a lot of options for you to change the game and how it runs and how it looks for it to perform in a good way. It's very minimal what options you actually have to make it run well. I'm going to link in the video description my good friend King Narukami45. He made a video about the Steam Deck version of the game specifically, but he really explains the different tweaks and, and stuff that you can change in the menu that will allow you to have a better experience but on deck even when changing the this stuff he was still going through some decent frame drops and stuff which made it very rough but again depends on who you're asking because some people are saying that it ran fine no issues we have nev here saying i played the demo on my pc and i had no issues to be honest i never noticed anything and hearing people saying different things online kind of shocked me i am not the most knowledgeable on graphics and pc settings and performance now it's confusing to me, and this might be because just like Nave here, I'm not good with performance and PC and stuff like that, so I'm really talking about a subject. I wanted to report on this subject, but I'm not in control of the actual theory here. Now, we have a thread here that I want us to look at, which is from CoreTheo99 here on Twitter. Because he explained in a really good way what happened here. Even myself, I was able to kind of get a better idea of what's going on here. There are people who are not sensitive to frame drops, stutter, or even lag. I think you are one of those, so it might not be a big deal for you. However, all versions have frame rate issues and bad programming decisions from Atlas. And then he proceeds to explain. The game on all consoles run up to 4K 120fps uncapped. You might think this is cool, but it is not. The game has problems when it comes to CPU utilization that makes it fluctuate a lot in frame rate in open areas. You can go from 85 frames per second to 50 only by 180ing the camera. And that I can, I can understand what he's saying where if it's not locked in certain places in the demo in the game let's say in that first town when you arrive in town before going in the the guards uh, room and stuff there is a lot of stuff going on and when you rotate the cameras people notice frame drops even on consoles small stuff on consoles but still frame drops which you can see it fluctuates and what i think he's saying here is it would be better if it were locked completely at 60 frames per second this affects frame time stability, making the game less smooth in those areas, even if you have a TV or monitor with variable refresh rate. When it comes to normal 60Hz TVs, as the game uses unlocked frames per second, it introduced something called tiering. It's not that bad in this one though. As PC gamers can see metrics, they have noticed how the game usage of CPU is simply unacceptable. If you have a 6 cores, 12 thread CPU, this game will saturate only one CPU core in the best case. In the worst, it can use only a virtual core, which is worse. In my opinion, this engine was built for closed area. And then he mentions P5R since 
Again, Metaphor is using the P5 engine, and they did not adapt it properly for Metaphor's open sections at all, because Metaphor has some sections that are way more open than what you're gonna find what you're gonna find in a Persona 5. When I described the openness of Metaphor early on in my preview, I said, hey, it's pretty much P5 with larger areas. So makes sense that they reuse that engine for that reason, but at the same time, again, it's causing issues here. On PC, Persona 5 Royal. When you go to Shibuya, frames per second can go from 120 to 70 frames per second in that spot, meaning it is an engine issue that has not been addressed at all. It's still an issue here in Meta 4. No matter if your GPU is $300 or $900, the game won't use them completely for that bottleneck. Finally, the lack of any sort of anti-aliasing makes PC gamers increase the internal render scale to compensate the aliasing with more pixel density, alleviating that shimmery look. So this I notice. Uh, Aliasing being the borders around your characters that look kind of blurry or they don't look clean and crisp. And I see that they don't really have an option in game to make it look better. Again, my understanding. If I'm mistaken here, my bad. I'm, I'm learning stuff. I'm willing to learn PC because consoles are not headed in a good direction. So I want to learn PC more and more here. <laughs> Again, I appreciate Core Theo here helping me understanding what's going on. So, in, so to summarize... One, carrying over a bad optimization which hits performance directly from P5, no anti-aliasing making the image shimmery and not clean, if you try to fix it on PC, you only increase the own bottleneck the engine has. And three, on consoles with frame drops and no frame caps, it's tearing. So overall, kind of a mess when it comes to, uh, to Metaphor and this launch here on PC, which honestly is a little bummer. I am confident that Atlas is going to work on this issue and make it, and make it at least a little better at launch. Atlas and Sega are all in with PC and I don't think the way that this game runs for a lot of people with expensive setups is good. It's it's not normal. I mean, this game looks great, don't get me wrong, but it's not like it's a extremely demanding game or it's not it's not like it should be an extremely demanding game. It looks great. But it's not this hyper-realistic, super-fast game, right? It is a slow-ass turn-based RPGs with anime-style graphics and drawings. So, I hope they fix it. It's a big mess. But overall, the pe people seem to be in agreement that the game is really good. And that is one positive that the demo did. People are in agreement that, hey, game's fire. But it needs to run well on all platforms. And it needs to run well on PC because there is a huge market on PC for Atlas games. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video here. I tried to explain with a lot of help what was the issue with PC. I hope I did a fine job here <laughs> gathering the information. If not, I'm sorry. I did my best. Again, I am learning. So please bear with me. Don't forget to comment with your platform of choice for the giveaway. Otherwise, I wish you a good day and a great upcoming weekend, y'all. Bye.